vast, unknown and little explored territory is part of our future zero emission world. Offshore wind capacity needs to be ramped up, worldwide and fast, because it's difficult to envisage how we can attain the 1.5 degree goal of the Paris Agreement without a large scale deployment of this flexible and proven solution. The ocean produces our oxygen, it regulates the climate, it provides food and a livelihood for millions of people worldwide. The ocean is also a source of renewable energy. The potential for offshore wind power is enormous. We believe that offshore wind is a winning technology. Um, it has achieved major successes, and just to highlight one or two, the, the size of these offshore wind parks makes them very scalable and a real powerful tool to significantly offset carbon. Offshore wind is a key success story as the largest source of renewable energy production from the ocean. And the future of the industry is bright. The ocean holds great power and provides natural tools to fight climate change. Many countries around the world are turning to sustainable technologies like offshore wind to fuel their energy transition. We have the ability to use the wind to transform it into electricity that does not emit greenhouse gases. And we can do better. We can use the powerful wind we find in ocean. In 1991, we built the first offshore wind turbine. That project out in the ocean looks tiny compared to the turbines we're building today. Yet it was monumental in creating an industry that is powering millions of households across the globe. Offshore wind is more than just providing green electrons to the grid. It's also about the global, people-centered energy transition. Studies by ARENA have found that one 500 megawatt offshore wind farm could provide at least 10,000 jobs over the 25 year lifetime of that project. Crucially, also, we are in to make sure that the huge economic opportunities that this unique transition will bring are grasped by the supply chains and the communities in which we operate. Offshore wind offers high value renewable electricity, but there is another benefit which is very attractive to governments. Offshore wind brings huge inward investment and economic benefit worth approximately $3 million per megawatt. And with that investment comes tens of thousands of jobs. These breathe life into coastal communities, but also, as we've seen in the UK and Germany, the supply chain for offshore wind is very deep, with companies employing people across the country. Many of these jobs are going to be locally deployed, which means massive value creation in coastal communities that are often far from economic centres and in need of economic revitalisation. The offshore wind industry is offering a response to some of the job dislocation and labour market disruption experienced in the conventional sector, such as in the offshore oil and gas sector. The UK is a world leader in offshore wind, with the largest capacity of any country on Earth and we have so much to show for it. We already have two factories producing wind turbines with a third already confirmed. Job opportunities in the sector are growing so quickly. We expect that in just five years time, 69,000 people will be working in the sector. The 10 billion pounds of investment the UK secures each year through offshore wind has been critical to ensuring the UK economy weathers the economic difficulties of COVID-19. Carefully planned and executed offshore wind farms would not be threatening biodiversity or arable land, disturbing communities or competing with other industries or livelihoods. On the contrary, they can be placed out of sight and out of mind. They can even serve as artificial reefs, attracting and protecting marine life. We know the potential of offshore wind is huge to provide a clean energy, but governments have to step up their game 
to provide the necessary space and framework for the development of offshore wind in an harmonious coexistence with other ocean users. The goal is clear. We are working in the ocean. We are working with the ocean. We are working for the ocean. We are all in it together. But it's essential that new offshore wind developments adopt what we call a nature positive approach. This means nature should be considered from planning to development from the very get-go. Working with other ocean users and using relevant planning tools, offshore wind infrastructure can also contribute to boost local ocean biodiversity. So ahead of COP26 this year, there is an opportunity for public-private partnership on offshore wind. So I encourage countries to scale up their offshore wind ambitions, to contribute to the accelerated deployment of renewable energy we need to see as part of the Race to Zero.